Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting and in today's video I want to operate this basic inexpensive fog machine with X lights. What? What are you talking about? Okay, so in some previous videos we showed you how to use like the Froggy's Hyperion Fogger, the Fobbles machine and really give you a guide that walks you through how to use any DMX fog machine inside of X lights. And that's cool, but DMX fog machines are never the cheapest ones, right? And so what if you're thinking just for your home display, you're like, okay, for Halloween, for Christmas, for something else, I just want to get an inexpensive fogger and still use it as part of my display. What's going to be the best method? Well, the cheapest foggers have single button remotes where you just press to get fog. Uh, the problem with that being that all foggers have to warm up, okay? And so, because of that, it's not like you could just, like, you could short the wires together or, like, use a clip to hold the button down and then, you know, cycle the power on and off to the fogger, but they have to warm up, so that doesn't really work in a predictable manner, okay? However, if you take a step up from, like, the very cheapest foggers to the not-quite-as-cheap foggers, um, a lot of them have a five pin MIDI type port, uh, looks like this, and they use a MIDI cable for their remotes, okay? There's a lot of Chauvet models, a lot of ADJ models, and maybe other ones. And then I found, I just saw a post on the vendors group a while ago, this little contraption here. The Pix Fog by Inotronics, we'll uh, show it a little bit closer here on the overhead camera. And this is a really cool little circuit board um, that you can use in a variety of ways. So it's a pixel type. It uses a single pixel to generate fog output. Okay. And so with all of these foggers, that means that when you bring basically red at full, it's a three channel pixel, just like your regular pixels, you wire this in five volt or 12 volt auto sensing. It's beautiful. Um, so I just wired up two X connect connectors. Okay, a male and a female for in and out. Okay, I got a 20 foot extension cable from my controller of Pixel. Okay, or you could even put this in your controller box. Uh, that's something to think about is, okay, you know, do I want this in its own little controller box with two X connects coming out of it and this five pin MIDI cable? Or do I want to go ahead and uh, actually put it in a controller box with my controller, just make it the first Pixel on one of the outputs and then pass that that uh, power on to the rest of the pixels. That's your choice, um, because with this five pin MIDI cable, I know they sell it with an optional 25 foot cable. Chances are, if you go and buy a MIDI cable online, you could probably get away with a longer one, but of course that's not official advice. So then all you do with this guy, boom, five pin MIDI jack on there, pixel in and out, so I just wired up X connect connectors, put it in your enclosure of choice, um, and then, Plug it into the five pin on the back of the unit. Turn on my fogger. This is pretty stinking cool. So this has indicator lights on it. See that? So literally, I have, I hope you can see that, a red light right now. And I will get a green light when the fog is ready. I, I had this unit on a few minutes ago and it should ready up pretty shortly. Okay? Um, and so we'll wait here, play the little theme song of Jeopardy um, while we wait for this unit to heat up. And then once it heats up, it's going to respond to the red channel of the pixel that I've plugged it into. So in this case, I've come straight out of my controller on an open output just for testing here. I'm literally just going to put it in test mode. And it's a Falcon. So when I hit that test button, you're going to see it go red, stop. Then it'll pause for green, pause for blue, back to red, it'll start pumping again. Okay, and we'll see very quickly a bunch of fog coming out of this machine in a... Not that big space, okay? So let's wait, we'll fast forward, and uh, I will press the test button. Oh, no need to fast forward. All right, I'm gonna hold press on my Falcon. And just like that, red was on, boom, green, blue, red on, green, blue, red on, green, blue. And there you have it. It's really that simple. We'll turn that off before this place fills with fog. Just that simply, we've been able to get fog into our space, whether low fog or regular fog, uh, using a fogger that wasn't DMX controllable, 
thanks to the PixFuck. If you can still see me through this fog and you're new to this, you want to hear more, uh, be sure to subscribe here on Learn Christmas Lighting and so you can see our next video. Thanks so much for watching and if you're new, you want to create a Christmas light show, hop over to LearnChristmasLighting.com. We've got a free guide we want to get into your hands called the uh, three or four things that I really wish I knew before I started with Christmas lighting. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you in our next video. Thanks.